Hello, this is just a quick screencast to show you how to sync the video and the audio recorded both with the Alpha camera. As we can see here, we have two files. One is the WAV file and the other one is a MAV file that has been recorded in RAW mode. Since it's been recorded in RAW, we cannot edit it properly, so we have to convert those files into something more useful. Usually, usually a sequence of JPEG files to be used as proxies and uh, I would do that using a script that I have made. I'll talk about it a little bit later. At the moment I'll just cancel it. It was just to show you that it creates all those folders here and in those folders we have the division between pretty much all the steps we were going to need. So initially we have the captured movies, those movies are then spliced into DNG files which are the digital negatives, we could use them to apply filters to change its colors and to apply curves and we could pretty much change everything related to that. But at the moment, I would use, just to show you, a JPEG that is half the original. Okay, I'm opening the TIFF, it's not my intention. I want the JPEG file. The JPEG file, as you can see, it's half the resolution in the video. I'm going to use it as proxy to edit my video. And finally, that same script generates an I12 file, which is actually, actually a reference to all those JPEGs that have been converted in the scripts so that they can be opened inside the editor, in this case, Cinelera. So I'll just show you how I would normally sync those files. Uh, we have uh, my folder and inside it we have that i 12 file. I will place it here and insert an audio that we have recorded and then I would be able to play that file. Okay, now as you can see the video is out of sync with the audio but then this is like a regular uh, step we would just find our visual reference to that audio right we have find the exact frame where the audio is you can set a label a marker and then we know that the audio is here in this wave so we can see that there's a difference of about nine frames that we would just use those nine frames as a reference and just um, as you can see now the audio is pretty much in sync with the video and um, that's pretty much how it's done. You know, you have a visual reference, usually someone clapping its hands or uh, anything, and then you just sync with the audio that you know it's related to the reference. This is how we do it in cinema. And all these steps are described in two, two articles. This is my website, this is like a blog, I keep the documentation, and uh, in this one, I'll just put the link in the video, but uh, in this page we have a wild description of how to use the Alpha camera as a cinema uh, camera. And inside here there's the part that describes the audio recording, which I, I will finish today, so by the moment you will see this video, it will probably be inside this page. There is also another page that's called the automation of this workflow. It describes what that script I have used does. So step by step, 
how it converts those files, how it creates the folders, how to use those files inside Cinelera, how to treat the images, and uh, to have the final outputs that would be your full resolution video with the color grading done. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.